Hey, I'm Mari Bell. So the main thing I do is run a series of creative conferences called Semi-Permanent, and that's an event where we fly in a number of sort of creative people like across a number of different fields, photography, illustration, graphic design, and they all come and they, and they sort of take the stage and they, and they talk to the audience about what uh, inspires them. I also run a, a website called Designers Kinky, which is kind of like a creative resource, a site to sort of inspire and, and educate people on what's sort of happening around. I also art direct a couple of magazines, Dazed and Confused, a magazine called Yen, a surf magazine called Stab, and I started a publication called Movement, which is a bodyboarding publication. Just recently I've started getting into a little bit more film related things, particularly a couple of music videos. I sort of left school originally and um, didn't exactly know what I wanted to do and I, and I sort of fell into running this, this website, Designers Kinky, with, with my business partner and um, that was doing very well and that um, sort of led into the idea of doing this conference semi-permanent and um, from day one that, w that went very well, very successful and so that paved the way for me to be able to do other things that I really loved. And, one of those things was that like I, I surf, I bodyboard, I, I sort of enjoy the waves or whatever, so I started a, a bodyboarding publication with a couple of mates that, that just wasn't the right publication that we were, we were hoping to sort of read or buy or whatever. So me and a couple of guys, we just sort of thought we should just do this because it's, I don't know, it's a little bit different and it can be fine if we fall flat on our face, you know, at the end of the day we're going to learn something and then it's going to lead us into the next thing. So we just sort of sat down and really got an idea of what we wanted out of the magazine. We wanted to one of the big things was like photography, we wanted to make sure there was like amazing photography and we sort of rewarded the photographers for doing and going out and actively finding great characters and great sort of moments to capture. In particular, some of the photographers that, that I enjoy is a guy called Dan Winters at the moment. I'll sort of introduce to his work through a mutual friend who's the creative director of Wired magazine. Uh, he shoots a lot of locked off, well framed photographs. A lot of his shots are art directed. They're very well planned, staged, and in most cases he uses his subject right in the middle and so it gives an opportunity for him to sort of tell a bit of a story in, in the rest of the photo. A few months ago I bought a Canon 5D Mark II, which I think is absolutely incredible. Um, I sort of bought that for the foresight that I was going to be using it for a few video projects. It shoots at such a high res that you can pull out frames and use them in a magazine quite easily. It's a camera that just serves multi sort of purposes. You're trying to capture this one really nice little moment in, in I don't know, something crazy that you're going to do and, and how you're going to use this sort of liquid sort of theme. Just shoot, shoot the hell out of it, you know, shoot a lot of photos and then you can really pick that one moment that really stands out. To sort of capture that exact little moment would be to increase the shutter speed of your camera. The downside to that would be that you're not going to let as much light into your camera, so maybe it's a good idea to shoot some stuff outside. Uh, or if you're inside, you know, light it well so you got a little bit more of a light flowing through the camera. Um, two things I would definitely do is shoot in continuous shooting mode. It will give you the ability to, to capture a lot of images in a really short space of time. And then I'd flick it over to AF or autofocus mode and that's going to give you, you know, way more control over making sure you've got a really nice sharp image. The best images are really going to jump out to me. They're going to be something that just impresses me straight away. Something that's really nicely framed, something that's, you know, sort of planned. You know, obviously you have a great, you know, subject that you guys are going to shoot. If that's not enough, maybe, maybe raid the kitchen fridge and, and grab some things from there, maybe some milk or whatever. That could look quite cool, like slamming up against your best mate's face or something. I, I personally like a little bit of depth of field in my shots, so maybe there's something in the foreground, something in the background. This area of the competition, I think it's like it's all about the action, it's all about like something really interesting happening. 